hundred. Low Country USA. Are you guys having fun tonight? I have the biggest honor tonight. I have loved this woman forever. A true icon in the music industry. Please give it up for Cheryl Crow. Okay, so I gotta say, a lot of people were kind of surprised to see your name on the lineup for Country USA. What made yeah. you want to make a country album now? Well, um, I moved to Nashville almost eight years ago after I had breast cancer, and I grew up about three hours from there. And my sisters lived there for 20 years, and um, I just decided after I had breast cancer it was time to move closer to home and kind of redefine my life. And a lot of my friends have been at Country Radio forever. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to move down there. And one of them is Brad Paisley, right? He actually, actually yes. produced this album, right? Yes. He um, executive produced it, and he's the person that came to me and said, now, after I sang with Loretta, will you please, Loretta Lynn, I'm sure, I, got, I mean, y'all know her about Loretta, but he said, will you please um, make a record? I'll tell you, our kids, the reason I know Brad as well as I do is that our kids are very good friends. He has a Jasper and a Huck. And I have a Levi and a Wyatt, and we've always said if they don't have a kick-ass country band by the time they're in junior high, we suck as parents. <laughs> so if you and Brad are such good friends, can we maybe get a Cheryl Crow, Brad Paisley duet sometime? I would love that. Future? I would love that. Um, yeah, he's um, he's amazing. One of the first things that he did was write with me for this record, and we wrote a chick song. Um, I made Brad Paisley write a chick song. So That's there you okay. go. There you have it. But it's about being a single mom, and it's called Waterproof Mascara, so I, I loved riding with them. I know you've done duets with a lot of huge names, Sting, Kid Rock, uh, Willie Nelson. Is there anybody that, you're, Willie, that yeah. you're really looking forward to, or you really want to make a duet with, um, kind of putting you on the spot? Yeah, I'll tell you, um, Willie is one of my favorite people to sing with, and early, early on, um, early on I got to sing with Emmy Lou Harris, and I, I think just harmonizing-wise, she's my favorite person to sing with. So I want to get back with her. And, um, gosh, there's so many great people out there now. It's just, we've been doing guitar pools, and it, there's just so many great young singers, songwriter, musicians, um, particularly in the country world. So it's, it's really nice to be at a format where people play music and love songs and love guitar solos. I would do a duet with you. Okay, let's but, do it. But I'm not very good. I would ruin our <laughs> career. You would have to carry us. No, no uh, worries. So you, you brought up your boys before, yeah. Levi and Wyatt. Uh, do they go on tour with you? Do you keep them at yes, home? Yes, they are always on the road with me, so you can be rest assured that they are safely <laughs> asleep in their bunks right now. And I found something. I never knew this about you. I've loved you forever. This Aww, is like the biggest moment for you ever. That's so um, nice. Early in your career, yeah. you were a backup for Michael Jackson. My first big gig, I taught school in St. Louis. I was a music school teacher in St. Louis in the, in the um, city school district. School <laughs> teachers, yay, school teachers. Um, and then I moved to L.A., and about six months later, I overheard some people talking about the audition for Michael Jackson's backup singers, and I crashed the audition, and I got it. So I went on the road with him for about two, almost two years. Did and you moon dance? Did he make you? I wish I could have learned how to do it. I was <laughs> terrible. But we did a lot of dancing. It was, it was, it's very surreal. You know, I'm watching a little bit about what's going on with the trial and stuff. It makes me sad. But he was amazing. He was really, really unbelievable. Well, I got to say, one of the perks of working in radio, we got Cheryl's country album before you guys can. Sorry. And I listened to it. And it's fantastic. Thank it's going to be a huge hit. You guys Thank can hear you. it September 10th. September 10th. Feels like home. Yeah, in Warner Nashville. Go out and get it. It's so worth it. Thank you. All right. I'm not going to keep her in here anymore. She's going to take the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl Crow. See you guys. Thank you guys.